Hey y'all, so today I'm bringing you guys a sunset inspired makeup tutorial and um, actually before I begun to um, continue filming my latest videos, I came up with this, it's kind of a to-do list. Um, I had like so many different looks that I chose and I wrote them down on um, actually my notes on my phone and I actually posted on Instagram and you know a lot of people gave me their suggestions and things of that nature so um, this was one of the beats that I actually had already decided you know what I'm saying before today so this isn't something I just came up with on the top of my dome actually I did this look it was a similar look that I did to this for the hair show for the Brunner Brothers hair show in Atlanta um, this past February um, back when I had the actually hair colors um, that matched the colors of my eyes I had it faded from the red to the orange to the yellow so um, yeah cause the red was right here the orange is right here and the yellow was in the back so I just wanted to recreate this look and give it more of a, mm, you know what I'm saying? Just give it a more of a face guy a beat, approval, I guess you could say. Um, let's see. For my eyes, of course, I used Morphe, Morphe brushes. Um, I used the Shimmer palette. I used the 35. I think it's called 35B. If I'm not mistaken, Hold on, let me make sure. Um, no, actually, it's 35U. Um, for that was for my eyes. I used the whole 35U palette. Um, oh, yeah, for my inner corner, I used the Rihanna Re uh, collection from MAC. It was the lightest highlight. Um, of course, for my brows, I used Anastasia, Anas Anastasia Beverly Hills, okay, and Auburn. And let's see. Of course, you know, I told you about this in my last uh, tutorial that this has been, like, my lifesaver. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but, like... A bitch is popping. So, yes. Um, let's see. Today I use True Match. I, I mean, not True Match. Actually, I use Mac, the uh, the Match Master Foundation is Seven. And I I vary. I go from different foundations just to see what type of coverage um I'll get or what type of look I'll get. And with foundations or with makeup period, you always want to try different things because you just never know. Like you may be using something that you think is just the bomb, but once you go to something else. Um, whether it's more expensive or um, inexpensive, you know, you just never know until you try it. So I try, like, this is like my, like my first time trying something different with foundations from MAC because usually I do like the Studio Fix Liquid Foundation. Um, or I would use, where is my other foundation? Sometimes, sometimes I use this as well. I use the... I don't know where it's at. Where is it? Where are they? Where are they? Hold on. Oh. Sometimes I use the Studio Fix powder as like a foundation because you can use it as well as a foundation and it's full coverage as well. Um, but I don't know. I like the Match Master. Like the Match Master really gives me that perfect flawless finish. Like it really does. Like I don't know who told you otherwise but yes as you see for my bronzer of course i put a little true match not I, I keep saying true match i'm just infatuated with true match but i put a little um soft and gentle from mac and come on now who don't know what soft and gentle is from mac i'm not even gonna get into all that so yes for my lips i use the morphe breath the morphe lip palette i outlined it with the morphe lip palette and I went in with this nude color from Ruby Kisses. And I mean, it's my, like, go-to. It's my go-to product. Um, and on top of all of that, I use the Revlon Colorstay Mineral Lip Glass. Lip Glaze. And uh, Timeless Nude. Yes, and that's for the that's for the lip gloss. That's on my lip. Um, and it has, like, a nude. It has a nude. It has nude. What is this? It's a pigment in here. It's different. It's pigments in here that are nude. Okay, what the fuck? Anywho, um, let's see. What else should I give you guys? A little. 
I mean, that's pretty much it. Y'all know what I do for my foundation. I mean, y'all know what I do for my highlight contour. Of course, I use MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer in NC35. And I also, for my contour, I've been, I've um just, like, two weeks ago, I went to CVS and I wanted to try the Black Opal. And um, I wanted to try it for the foundation for, at first. I wanted to try it for the foundation, but... I really do not care for the foundation at all. Like, not... I'm talking about as the foundation for foundation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I use this foundation stick for contouring. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have another shade that's, like, close to my skin tone. But when I put it on, I would have to... I, it's, it gets very, very oily. And I'm already... I have oily skin as well. But I don't want something that's going to make my skin more oilier than what it is already and I'm already oily as hell so no that's not gonna work but yeah I use the uh, foundation stick to contour with and and it's very as you see it's everything it's, it's very creamy so you always when you're dealing with products that you have to blend you always want something with uh something that you can control that's why I always stick with my creams because I can control cream I can't control liquid I can't control certain things so you know creams is, are more easier to apply and more easier to control and more easier to blend so get y'all a piece of that and check out Black Opal because they really do have great products too um, just because it didn't work for me don't mean it won't work for you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've tried the foundation all over my face, but it don't work for me at all. But yeah, of course, you know, I want to tell y'all too what I spray on my face. I, I use the NYX NYX. I don't know if it's NYX or NYX or whatever the case may be. But I use the NYX Dewy Finish, um, it's a setting spray. And it's very inexpensive. Again, I want to... It's nothing wrong with going to get some Fix Plus spray for MAC, but I choose to go the alternative route. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I'm not about to tell everybody who's viewing this video to um, go to MAC and buy all these products that I have. So that's why I switch and, and swap from different items or whatever the case may be. I don't just use the same items or the same products over and over in my videos. So... Yes, that's enough of me talking because I know I've been talking for a long time. So, if you like this video, you know, you can give it a thumbs up if you want to. I mean, that's up to you. And, I mean, just wait for the next one. Or, you can comment, like, and let me know what y'all want to see next. Alright? See you guys later. You are watching a master at work.
चार्ज में Why when we talk it feels so forced? Why when I ask what it is you get hoarse? Who you been fucking on? And why you never pick up when you're not alone? Where the hell you been if you're not at home? Who you been fucking on? I wouldn't be surprised. You lie laying in between my thighs, telling me she ain't nobody. She ain't nobody. I think I believe that. Uh huh. Uh huh. I done put two and two together, and I can put up with you. Talking low, but it still gets worse. Who you been fucking on? I wanna know her name and a car that she in. Say it to my face, and I ain't gonna ask again. Who you been fucking on? I wouldn't be surprised. No, no. You lie laying in between my thighs, telling me.
to me. 